Well, if you uh, like the tropics and if you like pineapple juice, you're going to love that beer. So balancing the hoppiness of an IPA with fresh pineapple juice is a brewer's art and that might lead me to segue into talking about specialty tappings, but I can hold off on that. Uh, balancing the use of pineapple juice with an IPA is a trick. You can just dump a whole bunch in there and hope it goes well. There's lots of research and product evaluation you have to do these things. Um, it's not the only reason we're brewers, but we spend a lot of time trying to find the right balance between uh, fresh, citrusy pineapple juice and a hoppy beer. So we think we've found it in the pineapple IPA. Hey, if you don't like it, you got at least 39 other beers to try. Is this a good segue into this? Well, I was going to ask you first about the special tappings. Yes. So what can you tell me about it? What can you give us? I can't give you a whole lot in terms of specifics of each beer. I can tell you that each one is going to be rung in by some crazy gong master. So when you hear the gong, that's time for the specialty tapping that takes place six times throughout the festival beginning at 1230. Uh, I can tell you that one of the reasons we focus on the uh, one of the reasons we focus on the specialty tappings is for the brewers uh, to have an outlet for creativity, innovation, experimentation, and just trying radical different beer styles. We've, a whole lot of beers have been have come to the market, like the Caraway IPA, uh, like the Hop Toddy, brewers being inventive and, and uh, exploring their craft, if you will. So specifics, I don't think anyone's going to be disappointed.